Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S2 2182 And the End Merge and the Long Weekend by Cynthia Ryland. Summary of the story is this And the End Merge the Dog And the End Merge the Dog's Boarding Weekend becomes interesting when mom suggests building a castle in the basement. Wet Yak bored the idea down in the basement. Great weekend. Wet Yak. Henry and Henry's big dog Butch woke up one Saturday in February and looked outside. Yak, said Henry. It was gray, it was cold, it was muddy and wet. No sun, Henry said. No snow. Just yak, wet yak. Much leaned against Henry and drooled. What are we going to do all weekend? Henry asked. Much leaned harder. How will we have some fun? Henry grumbled. Much leaned harder still. What a boring weekend. Henry growled. Much let go and leaned all the way. Whoa! yelled Henry. Much flattened Henry like a pancake. How are we going to get up? Henry wondered. Bored, Henry and Much had a boring breakfast. They watched some boring cartoons. They listened to Henry's father tell some boring jokes. Boy, is this boring! said Henry. What are we going to do? he asked. Much knew what to do. Much always knew what to do if there was nothing interesting, interesting to eat, nothing interesting to smell, and nothing interesting to chew. He went to sleep. No much, said Henry, giving him a push. Wake up, Much sat up. He wanted to stay awake. He tried to stay awake, but everything was so boring that he couldn't. His eyes kept closing, his head kept nodding, his mouth kept drooling. Uh, exciting dog you have there, said Henry's father. He's bored, said Henry. Much is bored, I'm bored. Boy, is this boring? Henry's father frowned. February cranks, he asked. Henry nodded. Winter grumpies, Henry nodded again. Pre-spring minutes? Okay, Dad, okay, Henry said. Boy, are you bored, said Henry's father. The three of them sat. Their eyes kept closing, their heads kept nodding, and one of their mouths kept drooling. Henry's mother saw them. Goodness, she said. This is going to be a long weekend. Then she had an idea. I have an idea. Henry's mother said. Henry opened his eyes and his father sat up. But Mudge kept on sleeping. He didn't care much about ideas. Not until the idea just smelled like something. Let's make a castle, said Henry's mother. A castle? said Henry and Henry's father. We still have the box the new refrigerator came in. And the box the new stove came in. Henry was getting the idea, and that pain said Uncle Arthur gave me, said Henry. Let's do it. They headed for the basement. Much was still trying to sleep, but when he heard the voices in the basement, he woke up fast. Much loved the basement. It had millions of new smells, it had lots of places to hide, and some of his old dog toys were down there. Come on, Much! Henry called, but Much was already on his way. Down in the basement, it has to have turrets, Henry's father said, and a drawbridge, and buttresses, and flag. Dad, said Henry, it's just a refrigerator box, not for long, said Henry's father. Henry went upstairs for his castle book. And his mother ran upstairs for pencils. And his father ran upstairs for a stapler. And Mudge ran upstairs for a quick snack. They all looked at each other in the kitchen. Are we, 
How do we all get up here again? asked Henry's father. When they got back to the basement, Henry opened up his castle book. Let's make this one, he said. And his father took a look. And his mother took a look. Okay, they said. One of them drew. One of them cut. One of them stapled. And one of them went looking for an old boat he used to chew. They all walked a long time until somebody said, Is anyone hungry? Order a pizza, said Henry's father. We can't stop now. They worked a while, long until the pizza came. Then they stopped and ate pizza while they stared at the castle they were building. They each imagined how it, how it would look when it was done. For the rest of the afternoon, they cut out fancy windows and fancy doors. They cut out turrets and buttresses and flags. Much chewed his old book like crazy. When the evening came and Henry finally had to crawl into bed, he could hardly wait to finish the castle. He could hardly wait for more of the long weekend. A great weekend. Henry woke up. He looked outside. Wet yuck, he said, but he didn't care. We have a castle to finish, he told Much. Henry and Henry's father ate some cold cereal and went to the basement. And his mother stayed in the kitchen to read the morning paper. He was always better at thinking up ideas than at finishing, finishing them. Besides, she said, you have to have somebody to surprise. Henry and Henry's father painted the castle all morning. While they worked, much snipped screwdrivers and paint cans and dirty rags and beach balls and Christmas decorations and a stuffed turkey. He also tried to eat a spider, but he missed. Henry and Henry's father were very quiet. They wanted to pay attention. They wanted to do a good job. Every now and then, Henry's mother would call out, Is there life down there? Finally, close to lunchtime, Henry looked at his father. His father looked at him. Wow, they both said, come look. Come look, they called up the stairs. And his mother went to the top of the stairs. Not yet, not yet, they called. She waited. Okay, okay, they called. She went down the stairs, and there she saw the most beautiful castle and the most beautiful knights and the most beautiful king she had ever seen. They all spent a long time admiring the castle. They took turns sitting, it, sitting in it. They stuck their heads through its windows. They opened and closed its doors. They lowered its drawbridge over and over. Henry was thrilled. He gave his parents a big hug. He gave much a big hug. What a weekend, said Henry. The king gave him a big lick. And what a great king. The end.